Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Sorry I've been missing in action for a while. Uh, it's been extra cold here and there's always more chores here when it's really cold and uh, work's been extra crazy busy this um, the last few weeks. So um, this last week in particular was extra busy. So I've been um, away for a little longer than I had wanted, but I'm back and uh, happy to share a few things with you today. So first of all, I had a new dye release in October November uh, with impression obsession that I haven't shared with you yet and it's the Cocopelli and he's a cute little flute player here out in the desert there's a big cactus here behind him and some desert grasses here as well and then there's a like a, a horizon line behind him too and uh, so when you cut him out uh, he looks like this I think he's a very cute little fellow and uh, here's another die cut of him. Um, I created a few cards with him and um, to supplement the round die, I also pulled a few circle and scallop circles from my stash. Uh, to back the Cocopelli, I just used a plain Spellbinder circle die. So check your stash. You might have uh, just a plain circle that fits perfectly behind him there. So that's what I used on some of my projects. And then I also pulled out uh, this scallop circle from Spellbinders as well, and it fits really nicely around the diameter of um, the um, Impression Obsession die. So check your uh, check your stashes for some of those old Spellbinder dies. And then here's some additional circle dies that I can point you to. These are some of my Impression Obsession ones. So we've got a couple of scallop circles here as well. This one has some fun fancy stitching on the side there and over here. And then there's a scallop circle as well. Um, and I used the scallop circle in one of my projects too, so I'll share that with you. And then a long time ago, I made a um, big stack of these alcohol and gold foil backgrounds. And so I thought I'd pull some of these out and use them on my projects. And these are really fun to make with alcohol inks. Um, this is Upo paper, so it's a paper that works really well with alcohol. And um, once you get your alcohol inks the way that you like them, before some of these thicker areas dry, you just press um, foiling into it, into where it's the uh, oil is tacky or the alcohol is tacky, and it removes the foil from the um, backing sheet and makes it adhere to your background. So I think it's really cool. It looks like um, like veins of gold through minerals or rocks. <laughs> Um, so here's just a few others that I've created. So it's just fun to sit down for, you know, a couple hours and just play with all your different alcohol colors. And uh, I even save these little pieces here because, you know, those colors are really beautiful and that gold foiling is really beautiful. And you never know when something of this size will come in handy. So for example, um, this would be cool behind the Cocopelli. It looks like maybe like there's a moon there in the sky. Um, so, you know, you'd really just be using this area here. So keep your little scraps. They can always come in handy. Um, so here's some additional ones that I made. So I think this little process is so fun. And um, I was also making these to make them look kind of like the rocks um, out in, uh, in the desert areas. Um, so I think these colors look really beautiful. And then I did add some gold... Um, pigment to these as well as um, some copper and uh, maybe that was it golden copper but look at that one isn't that gorgeous <laughs> so so very pretty and I think these are going to be really fun to use um, with some of my desert dyes I have a series of dyes with impression obsession that are different um, like a row of cactuses and a row of um, like rock formations so I think those dyes would be really fun to use with these backgrounds as well. So here's a cool green one. <laughs> so these are just fun, fun backgrounds to make and then have in your stash to play with. There's a purple. Cool. Another green one. You can see I really went crazy the day that I made all of these. So, this one that's got the fun bubbles in it, and then I think this one's really cool. I like the dark colors in that one. And then this is a super busy one. It's got lots of gold foiling on it, but really fun to use and a fun um, technique to play around with. So there's those. 
And uh, let me go ahead and show you um, the cards that I made. So here's uh, one that I made using a couple different colors of my alcohol background. And then I cut an additional circle just out of gold foil paper and backed it with that. And then here I've also stamped um, the sheet music um, stamp from Impression Obsession. It's a cover card and I've stamped it in some gold ink there so you can get some extra gold there on that turquoise paper. So I think he turned out really cute and some gold thread there. And then here's another one that I created. And this one I just used the um, other halves of the die cut image. So here he's green and red up here. And then here you can see I've used the red, basically the waist pieces to fill in around a black die cut. So there you can see the difference. And then here are a couple others that I made. This one has a matte black cardstock die cut image um, with just a circle of um, this aqua cardstock behind him. And then you can see here this scallop circle is this uh, Spellbinders one that I used. And then this card, I used some black glitter cardstock for the die cut image. So I think he has a little extra pizzazz. <laughs> Anyway, those are some cards I have to share with you. And then I also got a card in the mail from my friend Gabby, Gabby with an I, and she sent me this beautiful Hello Sunshine card. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful card. So thank you so much, Gabby. I love the extra green um, piece of gingham paper here behind that she used for the mat. So cute. So thank you for that beautiful card, Gabby. I so appreciate it. And that's what I've got to share with you um, today. I am currently working on some um, additional artist deadlines. And um, so I'm heads down a little bit. Um, but hopefully I'll be back on to share some additional things. I do want to make a card to show um, how to color these images um, with Copic markers. These are the November um, limited edition set from Impression Obsession. So super cute snowman. If you don't have these guys in your stash, this is the time to get them. This is only going to be available either through the end of November or through the end of December. I'm not sure, um, but it's a, it is a limited edition. So, And these just are the cutest little snowmen. So if you're interested in these, grab them while you can, but I'll be back on to share how to color some of these images um, with Copic markers instead of uh, watercolor painting, which is, I think, the method I used before. So Anyways, that's what I've got for you guys today. Hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!